Welcome. Um, so in this case, what I want to do is kind of explain where does the midpoint formula come from. So uh, the basic idea to kind of look at that is to go back into a number line. And let's say we have a number line of, uh, let's say, 0, negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, so let's say we have a number line. Let's say we wanted to find the middle in between two points, right? And everybody loves number lines. That's like one of the first things we learn before we get to actually the crazy stuff. So or how do we that? So anyways, let's say I have a point at negative 2 and 4. Now, obviously, if I wanted to find the middle, I could say, all right, the middle is going to be somewhere in here. Well, let's just kind of count. Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I could say that the middle is going to be, looks like, right at 1 because it's 3 from negative 2 and it's 3 from um, 4. But how algebraically did I go ahead and do that? Well, to do that, all you need to do is I need to find, um, all I need to do is find the distance between those and divide it by 2. So one thing I can do is say negative 2 plus 4, then divide it by 2. So I can take those two values. Pretty much what you're doing is you're finding the average in between um, those two values. So I take negative 2 plus 4 and divide by 2. Well, negative 2 plus 2 is going to be negative 2 divided, uh, plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2. Oh, I'm sorry, that's positive 2. Divided by 2 equals 1. Right? So that's going to tell me exactly the midpoint. So to find the midpoint, I take my two values, add them up, and then divide by 2. So how is that going to help us when we have two points that are not on a number line. And let's say I have two points here and over here. All right. Now, so the first thing we need to do is we need to understand, all right, these are coordinate points. That means they have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. This one has an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So how am I going to find the middle? Now, first of all, to find the middle, I need to know, well, the middle has to be lying on some line in between them. So I'm going to draw a straight line between these two points. Now, I can kind of look at this and kind of estimate that, yeah, my midpoint's going to be somewhere roughly around in there, right? But how do I algebraically go ahead and do this? Well, remember the midpoint, if you look at that, the midpoint is the middle of these two points horizontally as well as vertically. So if I look at that and I say, all right, horizontally, the middle is about right here, and vertically, the middle's about there. So what I can do is I could draw like a horizontal and a vertical line and say, all right, the middle where my hors the middle horizontal and vertical distance meet, that's going to be my midpoint, which looks right around there. So how do you find the midpoint horizontally and vertically? Well, um, when we look at this, you could say that, all right, here I have two coordinate points. But if I say what's x, you could point to either one of the x's, right? So I need to differentiate between x1 and x2. Same thing with the y's. I'm going to differentiate between 1 and 2. So when we look at this, if I want to find the middle point of this line, you can see it's horizontal. It's like a horizontal number line. So therefore, if I say, if I want to find um, the middle distance of my two x coordinates, I can simply say x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Now remember, that's just the middle coordinate of my x coordinate. Now I want to find the middle of my y coordinates, which would be like a horizontal number line, right? So to find the difference between the middle of those two, I'd say y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we get the midpoint for any two points on a coordinate plane. Thanks.